what is going on you guys welcome back to my channel it is your favorite mogul Amani Jelena and I am here with another video for you guys okay so before I jump into this video I want to say if you guys don't know what you should if you are current with my videos my vendor list as of the rest of this year is $75 okay so before this year is up definitely go ahead and invest invest in my vendors list I have four amazing vendors on there that I would love for you guys to go ahead and check out and you are right now ready to move forward as far as getting everything going it's about to be a new year it's time to start these businesses it's time to get these sales going for your businesses and all that good stuff so utilize these amazing opportunities while they are presented okay now the next thing that I do want to say I want to say go ahead and also check out my bundle wraps and my branding things and of such and I also do hang tags as well I offer bundle wraps you get 1,000 pieces for $100 that is like the best deal you can think of and if you guys are not sure what um what bundle wraps are it's basically a decorative option that you can add to your branding okay like I said it's it's about it soon it'll be the first of the year and it's time to get this stuff going so that next year you will be all set as far as your new branding and all that stuff goes so you basically send your logo in we get the design that you're looking for and then we move forward from there on Clearly you clicked on this video for a purpose and that purpose is because you are interested in vendors, you are interested in finding a vendor, you want, and you just want to know the ins and outs as far as finding a vendor. This video is for you, okay? So I'm just gonna dive right into it, okay? So if you guys don't know, when finding a vendor, you need to know all the crucial information. Even the small information that you think you don't need to know, you need to know about finding a vendor. You need to educate yourself on all angles of vendor searching and vendor hunting okay but if you want to bypass all of this my vendors list is available but moving forward uh first there's a difference between a vendor and a supplier okay they, they are two totally different things and i find people confusing them all the time so if you guys do not know a vendor is someone who sells products to customers okay that is a vendor you sell products to your customers the supplier is the one who supplies the product and the merchandise to the vendor okay that's basically what it is moving on a little bit if you guys don't know already this video is going to be all about looking for a vendor and kind of searching for a vendor and things to look out for okay so something very very important uh that you guys need to write down save put like a time time stamp at this particular point in the video is to set your criteria okay and that is basically where you list all the suppliers selections that the company or distributor needs in order to fulfill your wants okay so I'm going to break that down a little bit you basically need to write down all of your requirements everything that you want in a in a vendor some of these things could be how much is their minimum or maximum order quantity how which means how much can what's the least amount of stuff you can order and what's the most amount of things you can order in one setting okay you need to know this information and you need to have your own notes about your expectations for your business so if you know that you want to order in bulk every single time and every single time you order you don't want to order less than 500 pieces of something you need to make that annotation and that vendor that you choose needs to be able to fulfill that requirement okay so another example storage and handling facility you need to figure out what kind of place do i want my products manufactured out of another example specific methods of delivery now some people are more critical on this than i am but that basically means how do you want your packages to get to you i'm not talking about decorative options or anything like that because we all know when you when you do wholesale things things come to you without decorations on it and it's up to you to add your decorative options and things like that such as your tissue papers all of that stuff but what i mean by that how do you want that package to come to you do you need that package in less than two days if you're ordering something from asia do you need that package to get to you in less than two days you need to figure out their delivery times okay and how they go about delivering things do they do they work with fedex do they work with us uh, UPS thing, things like that because each of those different uh, shipping options they have different pricing you know some are more expensive than others some things you can get from China or from Asia for $28 but other 
other companies, you might pay $54 for the same weight and items, depending on whichever delivery system that they use. So you need to write down how much can you afford for delivery each each time your specific requ requirements regarding the delivery fees and the methods for delivery now moving on another example would be payment terms and conditions you need to know what your vendor or distributor or supplier whatever you want to call them you need to know their terms and conditions regarding regarding the merchandise that they sell okay um and, and same with the return policy if something comes to you and it's defected, can you send that product back? Will they refund you something? Will they give you a percentage off your next order if they screw up on something or the product is defected? You need to know that information. You need to write down what your expectations are and you need to make sure that whatever company that you decide to work with or, or distribute distributor, I cannot say that. Distributor that you decide to work with, they can fulfill those accommodations. The last example that I'm going to say for this is the lead times for estimated delivery. And that basically means, as I spoke a little bit about at first, was how long are my packages going to take to get here? I'm very critical as far as my delivery times. I would never order from a company nor sell a vendor or anything like that who has a 10 day turnaround time to get an order, get orders sent out accordingly so definitely write your expectation down so if you want your products sent to you in three days put that down and make sure that company can fulfill that your business is only going to be what you expect it to be the only way i would say not to agree with that is if you deal with more of a drop shipping service or a third party company that helps you out or ships your products and things like that because you would then go off their rules and regulations but if you are solely doing this and you are about to start your own business you need to have your expectations and go by them 100 percent. moving forward the next thing we're going to talk about is monitoring your budget it's important to review all potential vendors prices to assure that your business will profit. Uh, and that basically means you wanna make sure your business will profit with the already existing prices that your uh, supplier gives you, okay? So like I said, like let's say you start a hair company. We love talking about hair, don't we? But let's say we start a hair company. The supplier that you're gonna go with, they already have an existing price list for their frontal closures, lace wigs, full lace wigs, silk based top wigs, um, all that good stuff. They have existing prices. So you need to make sure you can be able to tack on enough money to the point your prices won't be overly expensive, but you will still profit. Okay. That's, that's the only thing when it comes to monitoring your budget. But I have some, I have some news for you guys. I have been doing a lot, a lot, a lot of studying on how to get the right prices for your business. Okay. I've done so much studying and I have found the formula to getting the correct prices for your business. So be on the lookout. I have a video coming soon. I'm going to explain everything. It's going to be so good. But when I tell you I have the exact formula your business needs in order to profit in order to save, in order to put money in different places, I have finally been able to master how to create prices for your business, okay? So, like I said, be on the lookout for that because that's coming a little later, okay? But I got y'all. I got y'all, okay? So, moving on. Uh, something really big, especially when you're dealing with these uh, all international um uh, suppliers and things like that you need to have the ability ability to thoroughly communicate and uh, fluently communicate with your supplier at the end of the day no matter what your business expectations need to be met a hundred percent and the only way to accurately meet those expectations is by you and your supplier fully understanding each other okay so a lot of the time since we're dealing with people internationally like if you're from the US and you're dealing with someone from like the Asia region or somewhere across across the seas um, you need to be able to communicate with them thoroughly okay so you need to make sure they have someone that fluently speaks English or someone who can uh, translate what you're saying uh, to, to you know translate what you're saying so that you guys can come down with an under understanding at what they need to be able to supply what you will stand for what you won't stand for and things like that because a lot of the times once you lock yourself into a vendor vendors tend to get a little like too laid back for me okay so like I said, by having that communication down pat, it will assure that you have a flawless experience with them. Okay, so moving on, 
The next thing that I want to talk about is inspection. Inspection is key, okay? And when I say inspection, I mean it is very, very important, important for you to satisfy your customers and retain their loyalty so that they continue to buy from you, okay? At the end of the day, you can, you can have 1 million people purchase something from you. 1 million people. But just imagine if you had 1 million people purchase from you and that same other 1 million people purchase from you. You're doubling your profit. So you always want to satisfy a customer. Always follow up with them. Always see what they have going on. Always keep keep them in the loop and you um, keep them in the loop about what's going on with your business. Sending out your e uh, email marketing and things like that. Inspection is key, okay? Quality products make, make an important contribution to long-term revenue, okay? So always keep that in mind. And I'm just throwing that out there just so you guys know. Always keep that in mind. So inspect your products. You want to inspect everything that your supplier is sending you. Never, I'm not going to say don't trust your supplier because you should. If you're spending lots of money with them, you should be able to trust them. But don't overly trust them. You should still be going over your products. You should, you should still be inspecting things. You should still be going through bundles. You know, if you order a thousand bundles, do I expect you to sit there and go through 1000 bundles? Probably not. But do I expect you to do I do I expect you to go through at least 60, 70 percent of them? Absolutely. OK, just to make sure everything's done thoroughly. I'm going to plug this in really quick. If you guys are interested in purchasing this particular unit, it's on the website. I'm going to leave it right below. It's a 24 inch lace closure. I do offer wholesale. I do have a drop shipping program, a very amazing drop shipping program that it's blowing up, girl. OK, so if you guys are interested, everything will be right below. Check the description block block. Check the description um, box for tons of goodies and information. So. The last section that I do want to talk about is the things to look for, okay? So when you are ordering from a vendor, some things that you need to really look for and really figure it out before you call them your supplier is construction of product, alignment of threading. If the threading's off, the, 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 the hair or the bundles are just going to fall apart and shed after your customers decide to wear them. And then they're never going to want to order anything from you. So you want to make sure the threading and the weft looks good. Okay. Uh, you want to look out for single or double stranded hair bundles. You want to know what type of material that lace is made out of. Um, a lot of the times, if you guys don't know, Swiss lace is a, a high quality wig fabric that is imported from Germany okay so in case you guys didn't know that uh, a lot of the times lace closures are made from a Swiss lace which are imported from Germany and it's basically like a fabric that they use uh, so you always want to know what you are selling okay ask your suppliers what what is this product I don't know what it is you tell me what it is so like if you don't know ask okay you want to look at the hygiene of the product. Is the product in good condition? Does it look good? Does it smell funny? Does it have any weird fishiness going on? You need to analyze that, okay? You want to um, make sure there's no lice or parasite eggs or droppings in your hair. Luckily, I haven't had to do deal with that, but it does happen, okay? Lice is real, and you don't want your customers installing anything and then them suing the crap out of your company for... A disease or something so don't just so just make sure you're picking a good vendor and looking at this stuff okay uh, you want to look for synthetic fillers you want to look for yarn like material that can be throughout the hair you want to look at color components you want to make sure there's not a not a lot of grays in your hair not a lot of reds in your hair because when it is that means some filler is in there okay uh, you want to look for you want to look for chemical residue Make sure you wash the hair before you, you know, go with this vendor or settle on this vendor. You want to wash the hair. Make sure there's no leftover chemical coloring or residue or weird, you know, chemicals that they could possibly be using. You want to make sure that they're not using that, okay? And you can simply do that by just washing the hair, looking at the water. If the water has any weird discoloring, nine times out of ten, they had some type of chemical, um, filled over the hair once upon a time okay and they didn't wash it out thoroughly so you want to look for that you want to look for shaggy ends if the ends of the hair don't look good and they look choppy when your customer get it your customer is not going to be satisfied okay 
You want to look for the luster of the hair. If the hair is overly shiny, that's not a good thing. If the hair has more of a natural sheen to it, that is amazing, okay? And you really want to pay attention to that when it comes to your raw hairs, okay? Because a lot of companies will say it's raw when it's not raw, okay? And then the last thing I want to say is the longevity of the hair. And that's when I would say you need to install the hair, see how the hair holds up. If it holds up more than three months, three months, nine times out of ten, you got yourself a good product, okay? Um, I'm not saying rock the hair for a full year before you decide to sell it, but definitely make sure you're giving the hair enough time to see the different changes that it'll make. Because when, when these suppliers put synthetic fillers over the hair the hair mimics amazing the hair is good temporarily and then you wash it and it's the fourth wash and the hair is just matted up and tangled and all that good stuff all that bad stuff so <laughs> make sure you guys watch out for that and uh watch out for look out for you know those like things and make sure you guys know what's going on with the hair because it's quality over quantity all the time okay so i hope this video helped you guys like I said, I have a vendor's list available. Ooh, I have a vendor's list available. Go check it out. It'll be right in the description box. And if you guys are interested in purchasing branding from me, also let me know. I'll have that marked right below for you guys. First of the year, a lot of my prices will be going up. Um, so invest in this while you can be get ready for the first of the year get ready for your new business ventures a lot of you guys that watch my videos i've had coaching calls with or i interact with or i email with on a consistent basis so i definitely want to see you guys doing amazing i want you guys to follow up with me on what's going on with your business and your day-to-day -day life and all of that good stuff so Ah, this video is over. I hope it helped you tremendously. Uh, but if you have any leftover questions or still have questions regarding um, vendors and so forth, feel free to schedule a coaching call with me and we can get to the root of the problem, okay? To see what's going on because every case is a little different, okay? So I love you guys and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.